Here's a scenario. You've got the Boss ES8 effect switcher. You got it all set up in your pedal board and you've got every patch set up perfectly, meticulously, and you're ready to go. You go out to your live show, you set up on the right side of the stage, and during the show, you run over to the left side because, hey, you can't ignore all those fans. Your bassist hops over to the right, and before you know it, it's solo time. Oh no, you can't get over there to hit that solos patch without tripping over your singer, because he just likes to get in your way, doesn't he? I've got the solution for you, so stay tuned. Man Bun Metalhead here, and I'm going to show you how to fix this problem without teaching your bassist every single patch that he needs to hit. Now, what I use is an external MIDI controller. Not a pedal that you control with a board, but a pedal that can control your ES8. What I use is this, this Tech 21 MIDI mouse. It's about a hundred bucks, and it's really simple. All it does is send out a MIDI signal to your ES8 or to whatever you have it hooked up to and that's and that's all you need so this thing's really simple it's got a couple functions but it's just main mainly is we have channel up channel down so we can go from 1 to 128 the first thing we got to do is make sure that your ES8 and this uh, MIDI controller or device is on set up on the same channel we're gonna look on here and we got to see a blinking 1C. So that means this is channel 1. We're going to go over to our ES8. We're going to hit edit. There we go to the MIDI settings. And scroll to where we get the RX, CH, and device ID. So what we're worried about is this RX channel. So go in here. <clears throat> We can set it from uh, 1 to, I believe, 16. Yep. Uh, but we want it at 1 because that's what we had our Tech 21 set up to. So that's set up. And now we're ready to control. I mean, setting up is that simple. So we're going to go back to the beginning here. And then we have to hook up our MIDI connections. So you've got MIDI out on the Tech 21 to MIDI in of the ES8. Connect that up. And we're ready. So I go here, so I'm going to hit the channel up, and you're going to go from 2, and you'll see it chaining here to the next patch. Uh, and as simple as that. So we can go back and forth. So now, you put this on the other side of the stage, and you're ready to go. No worry, no need to worry about your bassist. So, that's set up. That's how easy that is. The other thing we can do is do some PC mapping and basically what that's going to do is make this a lot more flexible. So as you saw when I was scrolling through here, channel 1 went to bank 0, patch 1. 2 went to patch 2, 3, patch 3, 4, so on and so forth. Once we got to 9, it went to bank 1, patch 1. So we can set that up exactly however we want that to go to, uh, what we want channel 1 to go to, what we want channel 2 to go to, so on and so forth. And I prefer to do this in the ES8 editor. So if you don't have that yet, get out of here, check out my other videos, get the ES8 editor. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to make your life so much easier. But uh, I will show you both ways. So the first way I will show you here is on the ES8. All we have to do is go back into our edit and we go one over from MIDI settings to PC map. In a PC map, we've got our bank, we've got our PC number, and we've got uh, what memory we want it to call up. Now, bank is zero because there's only one bank, at least on my MIDI uh, controller. There's only one bank. So bank zero, and then we have PC one, two, three, so on and so forth. So we can see here, PC one goes to bank zero, patch one, and so on and so forth. And we saw that as we were switching through. So I want to go back here, and I have... Kind of actually a little note set up here for how I want mine set up. So PC1 is going to go to patch 1. PC2, however, I want to go to patch 3 on bank 0. PC3, I want to go to 5. 
five, four, I want to go back to one, four, I want to go to two. And that's it. That's how you set it up on here. It's really simple, uh, but you can only look at one, one patch at a time or one PC number at a time. But once we have that set up, we go here, if we remember how we have this set up, on one, we're at bank zero, patch one. And I go to two, we're at bank zero, patch three. And now this is skipping around, kind of how I had to set up before. I think we get back to six, and we had in set six, so it goes back there like normal. The other way to make changes is on the ES8 editor. If you haven't seen my video prior, showing you how to use this, uh, go ahead and uh, check that out. But when we're in here, we're gonna check out the PC map. And now we have everything right in front of us. So we have bank zero, and then we have the PC number and what, and what patch it goes to. And then, so we had to set up one, three, five, one, two, if you remember. And all those are set up in there. If I wanna change PC six, to let's say, I don't know, bank one, patch four. Do that, and it's done. Uh, when we go back here to that patch, it's gonna upload all those. And if we go over here to the ES8, check out PC map, look at PC number six, and it goes to bank one, patch four. And that's easy as that. It just takes a few minutes to set up, and you're ready to go. You're ready to rock. If uh, you found this helpful, Give me a like if you have any questions, uh, put them down below. And you know, if you want to hear more about the ES8 or maybe other stuff that I'm, I'm working on, uh, give me a subscribe. So until next time, rock on.